emergency broadcast. We're sorry. All circuits are busy now. Will you please try your call again? Hello, YouTube and Preppers. This is the Comms Prepper with my helpers today. Hi, everyone. And the kids are home today for a snow day, so I took a day off from work. And rather than let them spend all day on the interwebs, I decided to teach them how to make a dipole antenna. So that's today's project. Uh, in the summer, I put up a dipole antenna here in the backyard. I'm not quite sure if you can see that. I can't display. But I think it's there. Well, we're going to make a 40 meter dipole antenna and we're going to cut it for 7.2 megahertz in the 40 meter band and it'll be a half wave dipole, a quarter wave on each side of the dipole and these are the materials we're going to use today. Budwig dipole kit here and that was 16 bucks from Ham Radio Outlet with two insulators. I have multi-strand copper antenna wire from Ham Radio Outlet. Of course the tape measure and a little 550 cord to help me get this antenna up. So my helpers are going to help me measure this antenna for 32 feet 7 inches on each side. Of course we'll cut it longer so we can uh, connect everything up. And then we'll put this antenna up and test it and see how it works. Uh, my goal here is to get an antenna that performs a little bit better in the 40 meter band for my HF email system. Right now the antenna I have isn't performing as well as I'd like so we're going to try something new with the ultimate goal of moving the leg of the dipole that's connected to this tree here having the antenna run north and south I'm going to try to get the leg of that antenna out on that tree in the backyard so it runs east and west so my radiation pattern is north and south so I'll go ahead and pause here and the helpers and I will get this antenna wire cut get it all wired up we'll pull it up in the trees and see how it works and there goes the comms prepper dog we'll be back in a minute guys Okay guys, well we got the centerpiece done, hopefully matching the instructions the best we could here. It is a bit cold. And there's the antenna wire wrapped around the leads with the SO239 connector there. So now we'll actually measure the wire out to the ends, exactly 32 feet 7 inches, and put the insulators on. So we'll pause here, get those insulators on, and then get it up in the tree. Okay guys, well we're hoping to show you the antenna results here on the SWR meter, but the actual needle for SWR seems to be stuck so I'm gonna have to do some troubleshooting there and may have to replace the meter. The antenna is a little bit too long uh, it's responding a little lower in frequency so we're gonna have to lower it and shorten it up a little bit and that's the nature of cutting your own antennas but I'm gonna wait till it's a little warmer out because it got a little cold out there but even with the antenna tuner we've had no problems tuning in stations on the 40 meter band as you can hear here I'm hoping that will result in improved performance with my HF radio email when I use my Pactor modem. But it was a fun project to do with the kids today in a snow day, and they got to learn something new, and maybe it sparks a little interest with them in electronics and technology in general. And as always, thank you for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. This has been the Comms Prepper with the helpers today making a dipole antenna.